Hi everyone, welcome to the Free Range Diva. It's been a little while since I've done any kind of makeup tutorials or get ready with get readies with me. <laughs> Mostly because I've been kind of uninspired with my makeup. I've just been kind of wearing the same thing every day. I wasn't really excited about it. However, I recently got my hands on uh, this little guy from Mineral Fusion. This is their bronzer in luster. Um, and it's got two shades. It's got the bronzer shade and highlight shade. This is matte. This has some shimmer to it. So I decided to uh, start wearing it uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, today I'm going to show you how I usually uh, wear this new bronzer. All right, let's get started. So my foundation is going to be the uh, Jane Iredale Pure Pressed in Fawn. And the reason I'm using this is because it is summertime and this has an SPF 25. And as you can see, I use this a lot. I'm already well into pan, so uh, um, it definitely has been a staple in my makeup arsenal. So let's grab this brush. And you can put this on um, just as I'm going to do it, just straight on the face. You can dampen your brush if you wish, as you can see. You get really good coverage with this. However much you need or want, you can press it in, which is what I'm doing, for some extra coverage in the areas that I really want it, and then just blend. Don't need as much in this area, so um, I'm just taking a little bit up there, whatever's left on the brush, from down through here. All right. Uh, Mineral Fusion Concealer. This is um, their warm concealer here, the Duo Concealer. And uh, I'm going to go in with this darker shade. The most important thing that I'm interested in covering are the, uh, the, the, you know, the ridges or the indentations rather from my glasses. So Even though I have contacts, I don't wear them. I prefer glasses. <laughs> so it's not that I don't wear them. Obviously, I'm wearing them today, but I just don't wear them all the time. This concealer is really creamy. It has good coverage. As you can see, I'm just pressing this in. Sometimes I'll grab my beauty sponge and, you know, blend it around the edges more. In fact, maybe I will get it and do that. I didn't take the time to wet it. I just spritzed it with a little bit of uh, rose water. And then I still uh, am seeing dark spots, so I'm going to use a little bit of this NYX, what is this, Dark Circle Corrector. This actually has it gets a, a decent rating on EWG, so it's relatively clean. We're going to work a little bit harder on those areas. This one's not too bad. And then use the lighter shade and the Mineral Fusion on top to just highlight it a little bit. Not a lot of that. And it's really just this one side that is giving me problems today. It's so hard to cover. It's funny because even when I cover them and they look well covered on, you know, and I look in the mirror, I get on camera and there they are, <laughs> glaring in every video. All right, that's enough of that for right now. I'm going to set that with a little bit of powder. I'm using uh, the Lily Lolo, one of their setting powders today. So at least it's not so noticeable. Okay, so um, I'm going to now go in with the Mineral Fusion Bronzer and... using the, uh, the darker shade. Uh, 
a little like a bronzer, but also more like a highlight. I mean, a highlight, um, a contour. This is a, really a little too warm for contouring. And then I'm going to take this lighter shade and just use it just on top of the cheekbones as a highlight. And this is going to be all my cheek color. And that's just going to give a light glow, not so much like, see, you can see in, the, in this light, I think. It just gives a little glow, not so, you know, not an obvious highlight shade because it's really too, you know, it's too dark. All right, I, f <clears throat> I forgot to mention before I started that I put lip balm and I used the Flourish Ginger Elixir Lip Balm on my lips. There you can get a good look. It's just a subtle glow. And so for the eyes, I'm gonna use the same, whoops, here we go. I'm gonna use the same compact uh, as an eye color as well. And we'll just use a darker shade on the lid and crease. and maybe apply a little of the highlighter here. And then on the, the inner part of the eyelid, just to help brighten the area a little bit. Got some new brushes from Eco Tools. One of them is this, I love this sort of blending brush. So we'll use that. And then maybe a little bit of color under the eyelid. And I'll use uh, this brush from Eco Tools to do that under the eyelid, under the lower lash line. A little bit of again that darker bronzy shade for an eyeliner. Actually, before I do the eyeliner, let's do the brows. This is from Silk Naturals, it's their uh, brow what's this called? Their brow powder, and my color is medium ash. I've had this for years. I'm only finally now getting down to the, or I might have to buy some more, but yeah, I will never be without this because I use it for a lot of different things. <laughs> Oops, let's try and make those match a little bit. There we go. Okay, I had to take away a little bit of that because I wasn't getting in line. brush these a little bit here so we can actually see what need, what else needs to be done. That's not too bad. So it's a natural looking brow. It's not Instagram, you know, high, groomed to within an inch of their life brows. And then for a liner, uh, on a daily basis, I usually just grab my Honest Beauty Truly Purple. And let's see, where can I use that? I can see here. We'll come a little bit closer. I guess I don't need any close to be any closer than that. And I'm just gonna go lightly on the top lid because I'm gonna smudge this, so I don't have to be too precise, but if you can be precise. <laughs> And I'm going to smudge it and a little bit underneath. A little bit of a smudge right under there too. And repeat the same thing on the other side. So I smudged it just up into the corners a little bit. And uh, 
on an average day, I would probably just stop there, but if I want to go a little bit further with it, I'll grab my black, like let's say I'm videotaping, and I'll put it in the uh, waterline here. I'm gonna do that off camera because it'll look weird. And then a little bit in the waterline here. All right, so uh, mascara today is going to be MIA. Where'd you go? Oh, hiding. For mascara, I'm going to use this one from Mineral Fusion. This is called their Volumizing Mascara in Jet. And I, this is my first time using this, so I don't know what to expect. But um, I tend to go to prefer mascaras that, that deliver length over volume, with the exception of Lily Lolo, which delivers everything you could possibly want. But let's see what we get. So that's one coat here. So that's one coat, top and bottom, and for every day, this is all I would do. It's not a lot, right? So. Let's just see what happens if we build it up to two coats. So there, that's two coats. So it's, you know, it, yes, it doesn't, it's not giving me a whole lot of length, but um, it's certainly fine for every day. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. Like I said, this is my first time putting this on. I'm gonna do the other side now. I like the brush on this because it's small. I like the brush on this because it's uh, smaller it's more bristles. It's a uh, bristle brush, not uh, you know plastic or rubber or anything like that. Although I usually like those better, but again, I like length. Hi, puppy. Duffy just joined the party. Oh, Duffy's about to hit the camp. No, he didn't. He missed the tripod. <laughs> So there you go. There you go. Um, I'll let you know how this wears during the day. It's very thick, um, which I that I guess that's normal for volumizing mascaras. I don't know because I don't use them that often or ever. <laughs> but uh, so there it is. One, two coats on top, one on the bottom. So the only other thing left is lipstick. And although I have a couple of Mineral Fusion shades, uh, I with this sort of bronzy, sort of one-tone look, um, I'm gonna go with a bronzy lip color, and this is the Chai, <laughs> wait a minute, Chai Love You, this is from Red Apple. Don't need to take any lip balm off because it's, just feels like moisturized lips, but I am gonna take a little bit of my Well People foundation and dab it just to tone down uh, my own lip color so that the chai latte color is a truer color. This is optional, you don't have to do this. Often I don't. Are you on my tripod? Yes. <laughs> he's lying down, but he's got his foot up against the leg. Hold on. Yeah, I don't want you hitting my tripod. Little dude. So, here's the finished makeup look. Um, if you see me at Target or at the grocery store, this is usually what I'm going to be looking like. Today, uh, I'm just going to a worship service and a combined Father's Day birthday celebration for a family friend. So. Nothing, you know, dressy, just uh, casual and, and, you know, seeing family and friends. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. If you did, uh, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't done that. And um, so you won't miss my next video. And I guess in the meantime, everyone, have a great day today. Take good care of yourselves and I'll see you again very soon. Bye, everybody.